Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I know that uh, people, especially in Zambia, 90% of people that follow me, follow me because of politics. And uh, they are not happy, they are disappointed because I'm not talking about Zambia. I'm not talking about what is happening in Zambia. I'm not talking about uh, whatever that is going on in Zambia. Look. Politics is a uh, politics is a game, a game that need a leader. It needs a captain. It needs a captain. You can't go into battlefield without a captain. You can't go into battlefield without a captain. There must be a leader. Someone must come out and lead the battle someone must come out and lead the battle so when you see me i i am quiet i don't i don't talk about politics i don't fight the government like i promise it's because there is no captain that will lead the game there is no captain that will lead the game take my take my word Take it word to word. There is no captain that will lead the game. The people that we expect to lead the game are cowards. And uh, cowards can never, never lead a game. And I don't fight with cowards. Someone will lead you. Once the battle intensifies, they will drop you and you'll be stranded. So that's why when you see I don't speak about politics, please don't misunderstand me. Don't 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 uh, don't say see I want us betray. Don't say I want us betray the people of Zambia. No no no. It's because there is no no captain that will lead the battle. I am see one. I am going to lead from outside the country. I am going to fight from outside the country like the way I did for UPND and HH. One thing I love about a church that you cannot take away from him is that he's not a coward. He is not a coward. He's somebody that while I was fighting with him, I was fighting with my full chest. Because he stood to his word. If I told you that today I'm going to do this, that is how it will be. Whether the rain comes or the sun comes. That is the character of an opposition leader that want to be president. It's not uh, somebody who wake up, they press his neck, small. Ah, ah, I will fight, I will kill, I will kill. He will go back and sleep. No, I don't fight with people like that. I am outside the country. I am a foreigner. See, I want. I am a foreigner. I am far away. My duty in that election is system. Is system. There are people that control election. My duty in election is influence, poly, doing serious campaign. I'll just come up with one story like this. The whole country is going to tumble. <laughs> that is me. <laughs> you know? And if we do a story, if we come up with one story and shake the government, who are we shaking the government for? Cowards? People that can't take the lead? So that's why I don't, I, you, I don't, participate in politics. You see me, I'm doing my ministry, I'm doing my church. I concentrate on important things. If a church want, you can rule for 100 years. That doesn't concern me. Because before I started fighting Edgar Lungu, there was a leader that, that was willing to take over government, a church that approached me and stick to whatever we are discussing. 
If we say today we are going to Matero, even if you bring 1,000 police officers there, HH would go to Matero. HH was going to Chipata. The, the police was a lot. They even locked the airport. They didn't want him to enter. He persuaded and fought himself into. That's the character of a leader that want to be a president. An opposition leader that want to be a president. That's why we supported him. ECL, they just tell him that police is in your house. He will go and hide. He will go. If he was in the sitting room, he will run into his bedroom and sleep. <laughs> is he a person that I must fight with? <laughs> is he a person that must lead the battle where see one, the dawn of power, we participate? No. I'm not carrying you. It's an insult to me. So that's why you don't see me talk about politics these days. That's why you see me, I'm quiet. That's why it, it look like UPND has bought me money to me. Or UPND have done. No, 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 no. I just realized to say, no, you will end up fighting and leading the battle from outside the country. <laughs> I cannot be the president because I'm not a Zambia. All I can do is to help somebody become the president. So if the people that needed to be helped are not serious, right now as I'm talking, they are in their beds. They fold their arms. They say, 2026, we are going to win election. How are you going to win that election? <laughs> Sorry about that. Network disturbed us somehow. Sorry about that. I'm back. I'm back. Please share and let people know that we are back. Network disturbed the beat. So, you understand what I'm talking about? Politics is not a joke. It's not, a, it's not an emotional thing. If you are doing policies of emotional, you are not serious. When you feel like uh, 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 taking things serious, you take. When you feel like you don't want to take things serious, you don't take. No, 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 no. That's not how politics is done. Politics is a serious thing. Many of you here that watch this, uh, 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 watching this broker, we realize that during the time of HH, when he was in opposition, he had stubborn brain. The government never dictated to him what to do, where to go, no matter what. The government never dictated for HH. They never dictated for HH. The government, that is the character of a man that wants to be president. The government never dictated for HH. No matter how they try, no matter how they fought him, he continued. He was fighting. Because he had a vision. I remember one day when he, he relaxed a bit, that people were resigning from his party. That was the time Charles Kakoma resigned, Shaman Musonda resigned. Big, big guys were resigning from his party and joining the PF. He became disappointed. He became discouraged. Then he started now doing Facebook, like the way Eddie Galong is doing. Facebook posting. Facebook live. Facebook... Uh, uh, Facebook... Uh, 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 press briefing. I came live. I fought him. I said, hey, church, what are you doing on Facebook? We have already conquered Facebook already for you. Go outside and campaign. Go and meet the people. What are you doing? As a person that wants to be president, you are sitting when you are supposed to be in the field. You are sleeping. You are campaigning from bedroom. No, they said there is corona. There won't be campaign. Go and campaign. Don't listen to anybody. Opposition political activity supposed to be confrontational. You confront. You don't just sit down and say, it's like this stupid thing that uh, I, I don't want to insult anybody. But it's like this useless thing that uh, the Ed Edgar Lungu is, uh, is, uh, is, 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 is doing. You want to be a president and they are going to court to go and get justice like you are not a president <laughs> yeah like you have never been a president can you fight system with system no 
the court you went to, that court belonged to the system. That court belonged to the government. They work for the government. If you were a judge and you are getting salary from the government, are you going to give judgment against your boss? No. If you are a judge, President HH is paying you. Can you betray him to give a judgment against him? No. I don't know how Eddie Alungu became president. I think we are also blind. <laughs> All of us, we are blind. <laughs> we are blinded because really the guy, I, I, I don't think with what is going on now, with the way he's doing politics, I don't think he really, he fought for it. He, he got it on silver platter. I'm telling you. If not, how can you run to court and say determine my eligibility? Let me tell you this. If not because of pressure, HH was going to be in prison today because of treason. But people rose. We spoke every morning. We were on Facebook fighting the PF, putting Ed Galung under pressure until he removed the church. That is called massive power. Power of the masses. That is the only thing that can save Edgar Lung. Not going to court. There is no court in Zambia that will give him justice. There is no court in Zambia that will deliver justice. Because the court belongs to the government. So I was laughing when I, I, we are going to court. Court will, give, court will give you your father or your mother. Court will not give you anything. Even me, as if I was working in the government as a judge, HH is paying me. Then you expect me to deliver judgment against him. Am I a fool? It is not the court that will determine whether Edgar Lungu will contest or will not contest. It is the masses. And as we speak today, Edgar Lungu don't have the mechanism on how to hold the masses. Let me give you a, an expo. I'm not supposed to be talking about politics. Let me give you an expo. That time when uh, 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 HH was banned from doing rally, HH, HH was banned from doing rally. HH was not doing rally. They said, uh, but that guy suffered a lot before he became president. HH, I've never seen a strong opposition leader like that guy. I must give credit to where credit is due. There is no opposition leader in the history of Zambia that is as strong as HH. That guy is a lion. <laughs> Forget sentiment. <laughs> Forget story story. HH is a lion. <laughs> HH, it doesn't give up. <laughs> that person, that person, that president, <laughs> it doesn't give up. <laughs> I've never seen in my life. But anyway, that is the determination of a person that knows what he wants. Not a digger. A digger. I want to come back to politics. They 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 just show him one they put one fee for him. Ah, he, he hasn't even gone to to, to prison. I think HH must try to put him in prison to shake him up a bit because he's too sleepy. He's the one that destroyed PF. PF was intact. By now, it was going to be difficult for UPND to come out in public and say, Amen, or Hallelujah, or I will do this. No. The masses would have rallied behind PF. I know what I'm talking about. But because he was complacent, he is inconsistent. Edgar is inconsistent. No, to, tomorrow we are moving, we are moving, we are moving. Tomorrow you go back to sleep. <laughs> when they call him, <laughs> Dick, he say, ah, today we are coming to pick your wife. Okay, tomorrow we are moving, we are moving, we are moving, we are moving. 
<laughs> he go back to sleep. They call him tomorrow. ACC went your son at the office. Tomorrow we are moving. We are moving. Mobilize, mobilize, mobilize. That's bullshit. That's not. That's not a man. And and if you know that you are not serious, you don't want to. Uh, you don't want politics. Why are you destroying other political parties? Oka was okay. Oka was coming up very, very well. Oka was very, very powerful. But uh, now Oka is dead. PF was powerful. PF is dead. Uh, 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 any other one that will come, if this type of character continues, they will still die. They won't go anywhere. Like I said, HH was bad from campaigning. I came and I said, look, my brother, you cannot win an election from your bed. Go and campaign. HH said, when we go, they will arrest us. I said, that is the best thing. The, how many times you arrest, any time you arrest an opposition leader, you give him thousands of sympathy votes. That's what I said. How many times they arrest an opposition leader? That is how many sympathy votes. In fact, as an opposition leader, you need to be arrested. The more they arrest you, the more you are gaining weight. Look at Dr. Fred, man. Look at Dr. Fred, man. Do you know that as we stand today, the only strong opposition party in Zambia is Dr. Fred, member's party? No one else. Forget about all these other people that are not serious, that are making noise and giving press briefing. They should change their party from political party to press briefing. Uh -huh. Or they should change their party to Fred members post newspaper. Uh, they become a, 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 a press givers. And uh, let Fred member carry on with politics because really he's the only one that is serious there. There is no one that is serious. Why is he growing? Just look at from the uh, from the by elections that took place. It's coming out. Number second, number second, number second. Why? Because the more he's arrested, the more popular he becomes. An opposition leader supposed to be arrested several times. So I don't know why this guy is afraid of arrest. When you know that you need it. How many times was HH arrested? Eh? Imagine HH would be sleeping in his house. Midnight, police will go, use their leg to break the door, glass door. He won't panic. He will follow them. They will put him in prison. When he come out, he continue with politics. A digger. <laughs> the guy is not serious. <laughs> People were ready to work with a digger long before. This I can assure you. This I can tell you. Because I was one of the people that were leading the politics for the opposition. I was actually the number one. We are many. The technocrats, the people that came to help uh, UPND from Uganda during the election. Mm. Mm -mm. During the election, the people that came to help, help the, 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 the people from Angola, the people, all the guys that determine who will be president in Africa, they were willing to help opposition from government. But as I speak to you today, I want to tell you the gospel truth. None of us is ready again to work with them because we realize that, number one, they are not serious and they cannot be trusted. The, what I'm telling you, take it, take it the way I'm telling you. If they cannot be trusted now that they are in opposition, no imagine what will happen when they take over power. <laughs> See, when you are going to supply petrol, <laughs> all right 30 percent 40 percent petrol which is what i want that's all i want i don't want money i don't want anything the, or the group this is what we want we are business people uh -huh. 
No, we don't. We are not beggars. We are business people. We want business. If we fight and bring a government in power, we need business. We don't ask anybody. Oh, give us money. Give us money. Oh, money for what? We don't need it. We don't need. We are not beggars. If you give us money, you will not give us as much as the money we are going to make from business. So that's why we don't want money. There is no one in the group, people that are in, people, top people in Zambia understand what I'm talking about. They know the type of people that I'm talking about. So these are not people that you say, we are going to give you $2 million. No, what is $2 million? You must, what we want is business. So you see opposition, no, let's move forward, let's move forward. What you want will be given to you. And we move forward, like this type of character. When they become, when they get there, they will say, I'm sick. <laughs> Who are you, what did you do for us? <laughs> so, but this is, not, this is not what I came for. It's just that somebody asked me here, see one, you are quiet, you don't do politics. I said, no, no, we can't do politics when we have people who are not serious, who are cowards. Until we have an opposition leader like HH who is determined, then we will come and do politics. Let me tell you this. Election is not won by the vote that you cast. That you must know. There are people that win election. If we decide, even the way Chilifia Tali today, if we decide to say Chilifia Tali will be the president of Zambia, and the whole system, everybody support him, he will be, whether you vote for him, you don't vote for him. I'm going to leave it here until we find a leader that is like HH, who is a fighter. Then we will come and support him for 2026. May God bless you. But the reason why I came live today is because there is my son in South Africa. He used to drive uh, one of my police cars, Hilux. We call it the last Hilux because it's the, it's the tough one. It's the one that is at the back, at the back. That one usually, that one contains usually when I'm moving an official thing, it, it carries a uh, about five police officers five armed police officers so it's the toughest one we call it the last so this guy his name is Chid. he came back from abroad he came back from south africa and uh, somebody told him about siawan he came to siawan the day he came to my office i asked him why how are you say fine what do you do he said i don't do anything i came back from south africa and my document expired here this is a young boy that came back from south he was doing very very well extremely well he was doing well he just came back and you know when you come when as a nigerian and Igbo guy when you come back people visit you you give them money you you give them gift so while he was sharing his money his money got into evil people that took his money to go and tie him they tied him completely that he, he didn't even have money to go back to south africa he was here in nigeria his document expired and he stayed in nigeria for more than five years without traveling his document is permit expired in Nigeria because he didn't have money to go back. So somebody told him about Siawan. He came when I met him, he narrated his story. I said, okay, don't worry. I'm going to work out things for you. Then I started doing spiritual work for him. Working and working until the door opened for him again. Now, Three days, before, three days for him to travel back to South Africa. He opened his document and realized that it had expired already. He had already bought ticket. He has already, everything was ready. But to go is a problem. There is no way because your document has expired. He told me, Papa, this is what has happened. I said, go you enter he said no one has ever entered south africa with expired document especially through uh, through uh, uh, especially through the airport i said go you enter he went when he arrived at the airport 
and they put his uh, paper document in the system, he showed that he didn't expire. He crossed over. When he crossed over, he called. He said, ah, this man, are you a human being or are you a spirit? I said, don't worry. This is a work. You know, I've worked so many uh, uncountable, I've done uncountable system work. Where America deny visa, I approve it. I've done it several times. Those of you that follow C our where people say will not give you document, we are not going to give you. Like there is one I'm doing in America. This that is a job that I have at hand now to to approve a, a green card for a Nigeria in America. I, this is my job. This is what I do. It's not prayer. You can't such power, prayer cannot afford such miracle. These are power, serious one. I don't talk about those things in public and online. So he entered when he entered because by this time as he was leaving, I prepared him so well. He was equipped now with all the whole spiritual material. I told him you are going to stay there for one year. You will come back. Money will chase you back to Nigeria. So he went there. Immediately he arrived there. Friends saw him. Ah, where have you been? Even those who were not talking to him before. Those who hated him before. Ah, where have you been? But, but, but before you know it, they have contributed money. They have opened restaurants for him. But, but, but business is coming. Money is coming. He is asking himself, I stayed many years. In in, uh, in I, I spent many, many years in South Africa without this favor where is it coming from within a short space of time doors open but last week a friend of his connived with south african police and uh, they arrested him while he was in custody they went they stole everything in his house they went they stole uh, everything at his his restaurant they took all the pot and everything he was crying the wife came to church last Sunday and was crying at the prayer line my husband they have stolen everything when I went back to check exactly what happened as a spiritual man I discovered that it was his brothers his Nigerian brothers his Igbo brothers that connived with the police so that they can steal his thing so that they can bring him down the truth is that anyone that is having the backing of sia one can never be brought down anyone that is having the backing of sia one can never be brought down because i don't go down i've never in my life lost any battle not even one and anyone that fights me goes down whether you like it or not so long as if i remember you and put you where i'm supposed to put you no one even if you gather all the whole angels on earth to pray for you i swear they will never remove you from there i know where i'm coming from remember what i told president digalongo when he was still the president i saw the video posted on Kosue and i was laughing Everything I said in that video, you can go to Kosuwe now and watch that video where Dan the Crazy was about to release that hit song that they usually release. Go and watch that video and from word to word, check everything that I spoke about Edgar Galungu there. And there is no one on earth that can change that end except myself. You can pray. You can, I mean, when I finished releasing those things, they did national prayer, they called this pastor, they called this pastor. I know how many men of God that we are going to state house to pray for Edgar Lungu. I know Sunday Sinyangwe, the, all the prayers he was doing for Edgar Lungu. Please, when you are fighting with Sia One, forget about prayer. Prayer will not work. I'm telling you this, please. You must understand the work of Prince of Persia. Daniel prayed and God released an angel to him. Prince of Persia held the angel in heaven for, for, for days and days and days. So it's not if when you are fighting with Sia One, you are shaking my mama, you are wasting your time. It will not work. Once I, once I put you in, I say it's me and you. Remember how many people did I fight? Chishim Bakambil. What is condition to them? Sunday Sinyangwe. What is condition to them? Sunday Sinyangwe, when he was, when 
before he fought me when that guy is doing an overnight standing in the gap overnight please those of you that used to follow him we had we we today say to say okay he's doing better or he's not doing better standing in the gap those days was i mean crowd thousands where is he today for him to have even ordinary a thousand people ordinary a thousand people which i have in my church every sunday for him to have half of what i have in my church he must invite a preacher from nigeria <laughs> I plan on your hands down. Go ahead and pray. You, you are going to pray until you die. It will not work. Unless the person come back to me and say, see I want, forgive me. If you say, see I want, forgive me. If I'm in a good mood, I'll forgive you and remove you where I put him. But apart from that, you will never go anywhere. How many people fought me? Edgar Lungu fought me. Where is he today? Everything I said that will happen to him, didn't it happen? Everything that I said that will happen to the children, are they not happening? I am still the one that will remove him from there. No one else. Any day that I remove Edgar Lungu and say, you are free, you will see what is going to happen to him and his children. I told him that his, your family will never know peace. Where are they? Do they have peace? Chishim Bakambu. Where is he today? He doesn't even walk again with his leg. He doesn't walk with it. He will not use wheelchair. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Bowman Lusambo. Where is he today? Where is Bowman Lusambo today? Huh? You don't play with C1. When I fight you, nothing is going to. I told you, if you know the angels in heaven, if you bring them, they will not do anything. Where is he? Where is Campiong? Uh, uh, Campiong was challenging me. That short man. Remember, we 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 are we are running mouth. Oh, da, 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 da. I told him. Remember, I said, if we are equal in mouth, let us be equal in hand. It's not to talk. Ah, see, I want. I will do this. See, I want. He say fool. See, I want. He say When you finish talking it, when the consequences come, you will bear it. Where is Campiongo today? The wife is in, is in jail. Very soon, Campiongo will join her in jail. Take the way that I'm telling you serious. Where is Boman Lusambo? The almighty bulldozer. He said, if he catch me, he will do this. He will do that. <laughs> How can you catch A? <laughs> How can you catch A? <laughs> huh? <laughs> so when i fight with you you are gone i mean you can see little light little light little light i'm i'm a patient i am a patient destroyer i take it easy i take it easy i take it until i finish you completely that's me that's the one there's no one that fought me that went free of charge Anyway, so that's uh, well, that's not what I said. So this girl is crying. My husband, they took her on Sunday while I was admonishing the church. I said, "Look, why do we fight ourselves? Why do we fight ourselves as Africans? Why do we hate our progress?" We enjoy it when white people are progressing. We enjoy it when white people are doing well. Anything that a white person does is good. Somebody will say, ah, see, I want, why not you write your own Bible? I say, if I write my own Bible, will you believe? If it was me that wrote the Bible and told you that Lot wife turn around and they turn to bag of salt, you are going to ask me who saw him, who saw her. If I told you that, if I wrote the Bible myself and told you that I was preaching to 5,000 people and all of them were hearing me without a microphone, I mean, when you look at, it's a stadium. Imagine a whole stadium 
Jesus was preaching, all of them were hearing him without microphone. Is that not a miracle? <laughs> but if I say, if it was me that wrote it, you Igbo people, black people will come and say, come and explain to us how you managed to speak to 5,000 people. <laughs> so there are many, many things that we are written that we are written in the bible that need to be questioned but we can't question it because the bible was written by a white man if it was written by black we can't support it black people do not support black things we don't support each other so you can see our politicians are stealing our money they are not investing it in africa they are taking it back to white people but our children Manage to steal hundred dollar from a white lady or a white man and come here. They will be arrested. EFCs will arrest the person and say you are a criminal. But the greater criminals are the whites. Eh? They they started stealing from us even before we are born. They stole everything from Africa. That if you don't read the history, please don't just. Bible is not the only book that you need to read as a person that want to go far in life. Read the history, African history. There was a time it was called scramble for Africa. They came here, anything they laid their hands, they carry, they stole. After that scramble was when they brought Christianity. Imagine scramble for Africa. People left their land. Not white people, they left their land. They came to Africa. Anything they see, even the one our forefathers were using, they will grab it from them. They will beat them. They will kill them. They will rape our former, our mothers. And after that, they brought Christianity to us. They brought religion to us. And there are some foolish people that are killing themselves because of religion. Uh, because you are not a Christian, you will not go to heaven. Which heaven? Where is heaven? You are a fool. If the people that brought the religion to us are not ready to go to heaven, if they are busy beautifying their countries here on earth, they are ready to be here for more than millions of years to come. You, Africa, that have nothing, you have absolutely nothing. You are the one that want to rush to go to heaven. Palestine, uh, Iran is, is busy bombarding Israel. They are, they, are, they are shooting Israel left and right. I've, I never hear Israel call for national prayer. Let it be here in Africa. <laughs> Africa that don't even have a 1999 war jet. <laughs> now, 1999 is brand new. 1986, I don't know of other countries, but I know many countries in Africa. They are the only uh, 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 fighter jet they have is 1982 model. <laughs> you have 1982 model and you support it with Jehovah Rafa and J. Michael and J. Gabriel. The owners of J. Michael and J. Gabriel and Jehovah Rafa, they are fighting with bullets. They have what is called iron drum that is defending their country. Israel has iron drum, iron drum that is defending them. Uh, Iran is sending Misa. Holy Ghost fire is not defending Israel. Blood of Jesus is not defending Israel. Especially those of you idiotic ones that go to Israel that you are going for pilgrimage. Israel is fighting. They are not defending themselves with Holy Ghost fire. They are not defending themselves with the blood of Jesus. They are defending themselves with iron drum. The sand that you go to carry from Israel, the sand of grave of Jesus, is there. <laughs> they are not using it for this war. That sand is not defending them. <laughs> the fig tree, the only voyage that you go to carry from Israel, is not defending Israel. Iran is bombing them. Israel is defending themselves with iron drum. And you see a country like, like Zambia that don't even have a... <laughs> I can count how many guns they have. <laughs> I mean, I don't think if, if they have a fighter jet, or am, am I even talking about like Zimbabwe? <laughs> Countries like Zimbabwe, they are, they, the fighter jet they have is uh, the one that uh, <laughs> Ted used. The one that was used in World War II, those are the those are the things that they were they are using. Uh -huh. And you see them, Holy Ghost fire defend our nation. You are a fool. National prayer. 
Israel is fighting right now. They are not calling for national prayer. There is time for everything. The owners of God, the owners of Jesus, where Jesus was born. Holy Ghost Fire is not defending them. <laughs> Father Abraham is not defending them. Uh -huh. They are defending themselves with iron drum. <laughs> Which one do we have in Nigeria? In case uh, uh, Russia decide to fight us today, or the way Iran is uh, bombarding uh, 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 Israel, if Iran decide to bombard us today, what are we going to defend ourselves? <laughs> blood of Jesus <laughs> you see that's why you must wake up as an African you must wake up yes I'm not against religion I'm not against Christianity I'm not against Buddhists I'm not against them no but it must be missed there must be time for everything there must be time for prayer there must be time for physics there must be time for technology right now we don't have weapons but our our politicians in Africa are looting our money and taking it to Israel they are taking it to Dubai they are taking it to UK. They are taking it to USA. The man that we are supposed to buy weapon. We are now hoping that if war come, we are going to fight it by the grace of God. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> grace of God does not fight war. So, I mean, let me put this aside. So that my son, uh, on, on Sunday, I was saying, ah, why do we fight ourselves? Why are we jealous of ourselves, black people? We are so jealous of ourselves. You know, we hate ourselves. Then I said, no, don't worry. Yeah, another person will give you what you have lost. So yesterday, I was shocked when my ADC was telling me to say, look, Papa, just like you said last Sunday and the work you did, this our brother has been given another accommodation and they are now gathering, contributing money to open another restaurant to him. Anyone that see one blesses is blessed. Any work that I do is guaranteed. Go to my WhatsApp now. My, my WhatsApp line is there. Let me comment again. My WhatsApp line is there, but let me write something. I see a lot of people watching me. Wait, I'll call I will I will call out your name now. I'll mention your name now. And, uh, so when you come here, you do If you check here, there is a uh, okay. So I've pinned my WhatsApp line there. Is there any work that you want me to do for you? For example, with document, you're looking for document, you don't have a document. There is a number that I've put there. Send me a message on WhatsApp. Tell me I want a document, I'm in this country. I want a visa, I'm here. I want money, you are looking for money. Please, like I said, just like any other thing, there is no amount of prayer that you are going to pray. And uh, in Zambia, you were glowing. No, I was bleaching. When I was in Zambia and South Africa, I was bleaching. There is a difference between bleaching and glowing. I'm going to show you now a diff what a difference between when I was in Zambia and when I'm here as I conclude this video.
bleaching is not blowing if you bleach i was bleaching i was a hardcore bleacher i i even used to finish bleaching i put i put red lipstick here and they look like roasted plantain and people were clapping for me but you know that's why as a leader be careful of how people are praising you like i always tell a church i also told Edgar Lungu. remember i was fighting that time i said Edgar Lungu, all these new praise singers that you are employing dora Celia, that insulted sata left and right up and down you took her eh? you you betrayed the real pf owners the people that loved you genuinely Edgar. you carry people like dora Celia. these people are chances they don't love you Edgar Lungu closed his ears like this. Pew! I said, all these people that you have carried, they will betray you. They will betray you. Your genuine lovers and genuine supporters are the ones that follow you from opposition. He didn't listen. Today, where is Darasilia? Darasilia is even speaking against Edgar Lungu. There are so many of them, all these MPs that are now talking rubbish about Edgar Lungu. I told them they will betray you. Didn't they betray? They betray. It has come to UPND. The same sickness have come. Whereby people that suffer are... Ah, please, Chela, many of you expected me to respond to Chela. Chela is a baby. Chela is a young boy. I don't... Uh, I don't hate him. You know, I love him because I fought for him. I don't hate the guy. I, I really fought for him. I fought for him heavily. When he was fighting with uh, with uh, Dora Celia, I fought. I I am among the people that put uh, put um, ECL under pressure to release Chela. Uh -huh. This other one, uh, 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 what is the name of this one? Um, uh, even his job, I am the one that pushed for it. It's just that I don't say many things in the public. I am the one that pushed his job. I can show you messages. You know, even when he was fired from being a photographer, I am the one that said he can't sit idle. He fought for the party. He need to eat. They sent him to Brazil. Eh? So when he's insulting me, I don't. It's a baby. You know, when a father, no matter a father is a father. What I what I see sitting down. If he climb twenty story building, will not see it. So that's why when he insult me, insult me. I I don't respond to him. There are people that I respond to, but not him because I still love him. Really, I still love him. He fought for the party. He did his best. Uh, everyone knows that uh, the 2021 election was won on social media, and one of the people that fought on social media was Chela. So I don't hate him, and I will never respond to him, even if he insult me. It's a baby. When he grow up, he will understand that. I mean well for him and for the party. So what I'm trying to say is that people like Chela, people like Mukuka Mukuka, people like uh, 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 please, they are uncountable. Mama Chikomeka. Uh, uh, they are they are they are uncountable. Mubita Nawa, the people that fought really for this government. You can see that they have been abandoned. If there is anyone that's supposed to be climbing that presidential jet, uh, uh, that uh, Zaf jet, it should be somebody like Chela. It should be somebody like Mubita Nawa. It should be somebody like uh, uh, Mukuka Mukuka. There are people that stood with the president when it was not fashionable. These are people that are supposed to eat. These are supposed to be people that are supposed to be praising. When you praise, then you know that it's coming from your heart. Because you started praising from the opposition. But look at somebody like Simon. Simon Mwewa. Simon Mwewa is eating. 
the mother has been given contract at, at, the, at the minister of health i know it's i'm keeping this one i don't want to go deeper i'm going to blow you know me my my punch is uh, <laughs> when i come is to scatter scatter the country it's the when i'll come the mother was supplying food at the minister of health Hmm? in this government why there are the people that campaign for this government the people that campaign for hh are still suffering majority of them are still very hungry they are all over on my whatsapp see i want see see i want help me i'm going to post a video after this broadcast you see how the people that campaign for president hh how they are suffering but somebody like simon who was campaigning against a church i know that many of you are brainwashed so much but which is good but simon says mm, i was paid to do that okay you are a judas you knew that pf was notorious pf was criminal everyone was fighting to remove it and the, the same criminals paid you they gave you money and because they gave you that change you betrayed a church you betrayed the people of zambia because of that little change they gave to you what is the difference between you and the judas so you can see a judas like this is now very close to the president anywhere the president is going even if he doesn't have any influence anywhere the president is going he will carry a camera hey how are you what are you doing what is your name what are you doing are you okay this is the useless type of politics that hh was doing in opposition people that surrounded him have now taken him back to that type of politics who told you that people who are hungry want to hear english ah, what are you doing what what's your name what is it this stupidity people are hungry and you bring idiot to be moving around with camera hey what you doing there hey you you fool that's nonsense that's that is nonsense so people like this have managed to come to hs circle again and actually they are the one that are praising the most i i'm giving you an example because i used to bleach that time when i used to bleach people used to tell me oh, you look nice wow hey look your look your color why wow, you are like a white man i i didn't know that i was killing myself <laughs> people were not giving me good advice until one day it was a lady at at shop right that told me to say you have bleed yourself you are looking like a gecko you know what a gecko is <laughs> that thing that is on the wall that it flies Cha! i went back home i look at myself in the mirror i look at my knuckles i look i say ah jesus from that day i stopped bleaching when i stopped bleaching the people that were telling me ah you lose so look at they came back and said ah now your true color is back a leader must be careful as a leader you must be careful the people that praise you are they praising you for doing the right thing or they are praising you because they want to get something from you if you see the praises that uh, simon is giving to hh it's not from the bottom of his heart he's praising him because of that small small money they give him and that's thing they put him in the plane that small small contract they give to the mother and so on and so forth but you forget that eddie galung went as far as buying a vx for the mother of simon but today simon is speaking against eddie galung simon is calling pf notorious but he was eating with them so as a leader wake up hh wake up don't allow people around you to deceive you to say ah this one hate you when people are betrayed they speak if the way mama chico maker is today the way uh, barbara 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 from from uk uh, that are young lady the way she is today if you approach her and say look I, we know the work that you did please this thing is for you i'm not saying give them money no one is asking for money there are opportunities that people are keeping one person at state house we have like 20 contracts 20 contracts supplying the mine release one of those contracts to any of these boys 
to any of these ladies. Let them be eating. Politics is about you fight, you eat. Release one contract. Put these people in opportunity. That's what they are crying for. No one is asking for handout. One person is having 30 contracts. A minister, all his gay friends are having contracts on his behalf. A permanent secretary, they don't share opportunity. Everyone is keeping opportunity to themselves. That's why people are not happy. The little one they release, they give it to opportunities like Simon. So what I'm saying is that Chela, somebody like Chela, somebody like Mubita Nawa, somebody like uh, uh, Barbara, somebody like uh, uh, Mukuka Mukuka. These are the people that are supposed to be, when you see them flying in that plane, they say, hey, they wait for it. Because when a church loses the election, all of us will come back and ask the current ZAF commander. We ask him, what was the duty of Simon in government because for you to use a government car you must be a government work for you to use a government plan you must be a government work what was the position of Simon you will tell us Zaf commander you will tell us we are not fools there, you, you may think that uh, 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 losing an election is, is not possible it's possible anything is possible even if you lose the election in 2030 you still come back and tell us because you are wasting natural, you are wasting taxpayers' money on a non-entity. You are wasting it. You will be held accountable. The president that may come after HH may not be as docile as HH. He may be like Fred member. You think that if Fred member take over power, people like you that are abusing human, uh, abusing uh, 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 the resources, people like you will go scot free. Eh? If Fred member was the one that took over from Eddie Galungu, by now Eddie Galungu was going to be in prison. I'm telling you, all the people that stole by now, they would have been in prison. I'm telling you. Bowman Lusambo, look at the type of conviction that court is giving to hardcore criminals. Somebody stole 20 million kwacha. Somebody has property worth 20 million kwacha. He doesn't have source of income. And then you convict the person and give that person three years. Politicians are criminals. They love themselves. Whether in opposition or in the ruling party, they protect themselves. They are not serious. If they are serious, I mean, you catch somebody that stole chicken and gave the person 20 years imprisonment. Somebody that stole 20 something million kwacha, three years in prison. They are even happy. Eh? Somebody built a house worth 23 million, 10 million, 6 million kwacha. Is jailed two years in prison, three years in prison. What type of useless sentence is that? Somebody smoking ganja, something a something that God gave to us for free. He's caught and arrested. He put in prison 10 years for smoking. Somebody broke a house and stole a TV. 30 years in prison. Look at the people that are looting our resources. Three years imprisonment. Simple imprisonment. That judge, all those magistrates that are delivering this type of useless judgment must be summoned. They must be investigated. They, they are working together with these guys. We are waiting for the one you are going to give to Bowman Musam. Maybe you even give him three months simple imprisonment. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.